So I've had a few requests to do a follow-up video on the nursery furniture to see how that stuff's holding up. And since I have to take this crib apart to get it out of here to put JR's new bed in here, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of go through all the nursery stuff, the crib, the changing table, and the bassinet. And also you can take a look at the bed in here kind of in its final place, I guess. <laughs> so the first thing on the crib, we're going to talk about some damage um, to the crib. And then I'm also talk about the missing spindles here. So one of the things a lot of people said was this top rail is going to get all chewed up because my someone used this as a teething soother or whatever. And my son actually got all of his front teeth before he could stand up. So he couldn't actually use this top rail for teething uh, when he was actually teething <laughs> with those front teeth. But I do have a few kind of uh, dents and scratches through here where when he was older, he was standing up. He got frustrated because he couldn't get out of the crib and kind of put his teeth on there. But overall, they're not deep. If I wanted to, I could get rid of these pretty quickly with just a little bit of sanding and maybe like a quick pass with a hand plane or something. But even if this was all chewed up, it really wouldn't bother me too much because it's a crib. It's meant to be used, I guess. Now the missing spindles have a little bit of a story behind them. When I built the crib, one of the things that I heard from a lot of people was um, some experiences they had where they woke up in the middle of the night to their child crying and screaming. They rush in here and they realize that their child had got their either their legs or their arms stuck between the spindles and they couldn't get them out. So in order to free them, they would have to pull the spindles out of the crib, uh, essentially breaking the crib. So when I built this, I made these spindles to a length where they would be a little bit shorter so that when they were installed, they would drop down to the bottom hole and they'd only be maybe a eighth of an inch in the top here. So if you really had to, in the middle of the night, in a panic, pulling on the spindle would flex it enough that it would just pop right out. Well, when my son got old enough, he realized that he was strong enough if he really got upset to pull a spindle out. And we did the whole back and forth, put the spindle back in every single time he pulled it out. And then eventually he pulled enough out where it was just wide enough for him to get out. And we decided to remove a few more and just give him the opportunity to be able to get in and out of his bed as he saw fit. And that made bedtime and just life around here actually a lot easier because the bed or the crib became less of a prison and more of a place for him to play. So during the day he can come in here and he can read a book or if he wakes up in the morning and doesn't want to come out to see us yet, he can go over to his book pile, grab a book, and then come back into bed. Just kind of hang out and play in bed for a bit. So that's been kind of really nice. And even if my son Max doesn't pull the spindles out and kind of go through the whole experience, I don't see why we won't be removing these spindles for him in the future so we can have kind of the same experience. The other really nice thing about having the spindles out here is that it makes it very easy for an adult to get into the crib. So sun nights, bedtime is a little more difficult. Uh, JR wants one of us to just lay with him for a little bit. So we can just climb right on in here and just lay with him for you know, a few minutes to calm him down, get him a little bit more tired, get him a little more comfortable, and then we can leave. So that's also a nice plus of being able to get in and out of this crib. So other than those two things, the crib has held up really well and there's no other issues. The mattress support itself is strong enough to support all of us in the crib. JR. Lindsay and myself so that's kind of nice <laughs> so since this is only a two-bedroom house Jay will be staying in this room with his bed which will actually take up most of the space in this room because this room isn't that big and then the crib will move into our room where Max will sleep and live I guess and have his room so with the crib out of here I can actually get the camera in here and get this thing into frame the changing table this thing has held up really well and we've really liked the functionality of the baskets or the bins up here with the drawers down here. Uh, the drawers have like the towels and the pajamas and stuff like that. And then we've got you know diapers and stuff up here. And this has worked out really well. Um, the drawers, you know, they still operate as smoothly as they did when I built this thing. It's been two years almost already. Built this in July of 2015. Uh, there's no damage on it. You know, surprisingly, there's no dents or anything too crazy. It looks pretty good for being that age. Now, the most common comment that I got about this changing table was about how my beautiful top was getting it full of poop. I don't know what kind of crazy parenting experiences you all had, but if that's the case in your life, I'm very sorry. <laughs>
So over here in our bedroom next to our bed is the bassinet. And this thing has held up extremely well. It's worked out really well for us, or at least for JR. JR slept with this thing until he was six months old before going into the crib. And uh, Max has only spent maybe four or five hours of his life in this bassinet because he prefers to sleep with mommy. So <laughs> this doesn't get as much use, even though we have a second infant in the house. Um, however, JR does climb in here in the morning sometimes. If we're still in bed, he'll come in here at the book or something and just climb in here and just kind of hang out as we're just laying in bed. So it still does serve a little bit of a purpose in the house. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is looking really good. You know, it still rocks really well. I also have those, um, these things here. I also made these little like stopper things to keep it from rocking. Never used these at all, but I still have them, I guess. <laughs> this thing doesn't really rock a whole lot like on its own if there's a child in here because of the child's low center of gravity. It doesn't really rock at all unless you kind of put a rocking motion into it. And um, I don't really know any babies that would really want to sit still or would really like to just have no motion at all. So I don't know how useful these things are, but hey, I'll keep them, I guess. <laughs> so the crib is going to be going where you are right now. So I'm gonna spin it around and get the crib assembled and then we'll get the bed assembled back in JR's room. Goodbye. So at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say that I've assembled this thing more times than most people would assemble a bed in a generation. <laughs> I think this is the fourth time I've had this thing assembled and disassembled since I finished it. So one last thing I'm going to take care of now that I didn't do before because I kind of ran out of time before getting this bed ready for the show is to attach the mattress support boards down to the ledgers. And to attach those mattress support boards down to the ledgers, I'm going to drill and tap the holes for the bolts that will hold those boards down just to keep kind of the same theme going since the rest of the holes for all the hardware on this bed are also tapped. So what do you think, Jerry? You like your bed? Oh, ooh. Ooh, that's all light. Yeah. Do you like your bed, though? Yeah. Do you like sleeping in your bed? Uh, uh, do you want to say hi to the camera? Do you want to say cheese? Cheese. So Jerry's been sleeping in this bed for a couple weeks now, and I think it's been going really well. He's been really liking it. I think he likes the extra space because every single time I come in here, he's in some other crazy <laughs> position, either like backwards down there or, or whatever. He's usually not like normal head up here body that way. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy taking a look at the past projects. If you want to take a look at the videos about making either the changing table, the bassinet, or the crib, I have a link to a playlist down in the description that you can take a look at the construction of any of those pieces of furniture. So that's about it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the nursery furniture, anything back down in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time. No, no. I don't think so. Let's put that back. <laughs> happy woodworking. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.